Cyprus, an island divided in half since 1974 with Nicosia as capital. West of Nicosia is the community of Pariometoho, where the Elysium of Kutsofta Panagiri is found. Every year, about 600 to 700 students between the ages 15 to 18 attend this institution. The Elysium of Kutsofta Panagidi is a huge contemporary building located on a vast area of forested land. At the main entrance of the school, one is greeted by two impressive statues of the two heroes the school was named after, Mikhail Kutsofta and Andrea Panagidi. Both heroes were born in the village of Paliometoho and both perished in their struggle during the years 1955-1959 against the British rule of the island. The school is named after these two heroes who symbolize self-sacrifice and dedication to the struggle for freedom. The majority of the student body arrives at school daily by bus at the latest half past seven at which time classes begin. The students depart by bus again at 35 past one, which is the time the school day ends. The students come from a total of 13 different villages around the area, which is also the reason why the school is referred to as a regional high school. The school's architecture is both modern and contemporary. To the right of the main entrance, there are the administration offices and the staff rooms, the principal's office, an assistant headmaster's office, two teacher's room, the school counselor's office, the secretariat, and the school board's office. To the left, a spacious hall hosts conferences and other activities. A vast central schoolyard lined by classrooms, laboratories, and assistant headmaster's offices. These extend on both ground and first floors. The school library has a dominant position in the school. It's a vast room which is constantly enriched with modern publications with scientific material and technological advances. This gives students and staff the opportunity to browse through the magic of books, a place for research, speculation and thought. A little further down, the mind is allowed to escape from stress through physical exercise. A large indoor gym is used as a multifunction room. It is situated in the southwest and here most of the school celebrations take place. Further, west there is a big football pitch with stands on one side used for athletic events. Recently, a cross-country course has been created which can host successfully discrete pan-Cyprian, even pan-Hellenic cross-country races. To the south of the school, there is a small chapel dedicated to St. Demetrius to cover the students' religious needs. Students can attend holy masses or simply go in and pray. In this environment, teaching becomes more creative since a large number of lessons is given in labs or special rooms. There are two language rooms, a history room, an art room, three computer rooms, a music room, two technology rooms, two typing rooms as well as physics, chemistry and biology room. These are constantly equipped with two materials. Up to now, the school has successfully established itself as a center for academic achievements. Every year, many of our students excel in Pan-Cyprian, European or world competitions. The school operates an Eneo Lycio Unified Elysium giving the chance to students to select their specialization subjects based on a personal program. A number of 90 to 100 teachers work in the school each year. In addition to academic work done, the school also organizes a number of national charity, sports and cultural activities every year. Conferences are held covering themes of modern issues. Also, there are artistic performances, excursions, visits, blood donations, raising money for many purposes, as well as participations in European programs like Language Label, Globe, Comenius, Olympiads, EUSO, and so on. The European program Comenius promotes inter-country cooperation among European schools and academic institutions so that students can be sensitive about cultural diversity, develop initiatives, and improve their skills. 
Students work together under the supervision and guidance of a teacher. Each team or group undertakes a specific piece of presentation and in the end, the groups put together their work, reaching the final objective. Thus, within this context of experiences, our students, continuing a tradition of many years, created with their direct involvement this year too, their own Starry European Starry Sky.